prediction. What do you see in this video? Well, I see a lot of things from the very beginning. And, you know, it's very an emotional situation, a very emotional subject, but I really think we need to stick to the facts. What I've seen from the beginning is that I see a cop that escalated a situation because, you know, of course, he should have told her to put her cigarette out. He should have just said, you know what, go ahead and smoke, and I'll finish this ticket when, we're, when you're done. And she would have probably hurried up and put the cigarette out just to get this over with. So I see him acting completely inappropriately and, and unprofessionally, and I see the jail not taking into account the fact that she obviously has a depressed and previous suicidal background. Okay, now, so However, that's, that's a big deal, though, right, that she didn't get the mental health services she needed. Yes. Unless, but I think that hold on a second. A wait, wait, Benita, I want to interrupt you one second. You told me something before you came in here about the, the orange color she had. Okay. Is it possible that they were identifying her as somebody by putting her a different color Would, who had mental health needs? Could be that she was of a certain sexual orientation. She could have had mental problems. She could have had physical disabilities. Wait, so clar clarify that. It is what, possible what? that the orange jumpsuit indicated she had psychological problems. So the, they don't normally put someone in an orange jumpsuit or a colored jumpsuit. That, that meant something to you. Correct. Although, Dr. Drew, that is a completely speculative statement. Yeah, yeah. Completely. No one from the yeah. system, no one from the jail, no one from the district attorney's office, no one involved in this case I, has made that statement. So we're introducing into the situation I, Reba, you're facts right. that do and, not exist. So correct. let's not do that. I'm let's just, stick to the facts. Well, well, well no. I'm just, jumpsuit, I'm, Drew, yeah. that could have just been the jumpsuit that also was available. It just showed they up. They take this them out the of a one. bin. Yeah. But I, I do, before we go down the path of she didn't get mental health services, I want to at least open the possibility that somebody may have identified her as having some special needs. But, Deneen, finish up. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, those things to me are civil issues, and I think that there's something that should be followed up on with the family, why it was that she wasn't checked on more often, why was she put in a cell by herself, all of those things. Do I think that she was murdered or that there was some criminal activity that went on? Absolutely not, and no. for numerous reasons. Um, I, I've, I've listened to a lot of the interview with the, with the girl who's across the hall, and I've, I've looked at the tapes, and I do think that there's some issues with the tapes. But ultimately, those jailers, that is their job. That is their bread and butter. They have kids to go home to, home to and mortgages to pay. And they're not just going to kill somebody because that person got into it with a cop. The cop was completely, once they booked somebody into jail, because I've worked in intake. I've worked in that unit. Okay. I did it for years. Okay. Once okay. you book somebody into the jail, you're done with them, and you go on back to your So beat. they don't know who this, the cop is. They don't have any access to the cop or know what the cop the is. Cop up does not just come in and say, hey, go kill her. This was three days later. She wasn't kicking. She wasn't banging. She wasn't being but hostile. But she was crying. She, to be she was crying, Ariba, She was crying, but she was crying with all because due respect. no one was answering her phone calls. She was crying because she couldn't get anybody of her four sisters to put together 125 bucks each and bail her out of jail. Okay, she we get that. You know what? This is complete. Wait, we got to stop this. Because all with, all time, due respect, with all due respect, Deneen, I think having this conversation without take it into account the larger issues that are happening in the United States around African Americans in the hands of police officers is irresponsible for us. So we can't really talk about Absolutely. Sandra Bland Absolutely. unless we talk about the issues Absolutely. of trust and distrust yeah. in the African American yeah, community. And I get that. There is a history here and of course there's going to be, we're, we're, we're highly sensitive. There's an issue of, of law enforcement in the black community and my God this goes back ages. So of course we're very, very hypersensitive to this well, and to the mistreatment of our people well, in jail, we're I just we're feel high. like this particular situation is a little bit different. But Yonder. you're not being sensitive to the fact that there obviously is some great misconduct in this situation. And what you're doing is that you're, you're speculating that there's no misconduct based on your experience. Okay, you no, can't no, speak no. to this I particular issue. I do believe there's misconduct. Her being put in that cell by herself was not appropriate. Her Denise, not being kept it. on. Her not having her mental health care given to her. Absolutely. That was completely wrong and is actionable. I just don't think anybody went in there and killed her for no reason.